Hello and welcome to PNN. I'm Testicles Bacchanalia. Well, a glorious day for Rome as we eagerly anticipate the parade that will bring the legendary Egyptian queen Cleopatra to our city. As we prepare for what will no doubt be a jaw-dropping spectacle, let's check in on the weather with Cumulus Maximus. Cumulus. Thank you, testicles. Testicles. Of course, sorry. Well, as this is ancient Rome and we have no real meteorological knowledge or equipment, I prayed to Jupiter last night to deliver us a pleasant day for the parade, and he has come through in fine style. The sun is shining brightly, and not a cloud in the sky, so I do not believe the weather will impact today's festivities one bit. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Cumulus. We have several correspondents on the scene to fully cover this event. Let's go to Fungus Among Us for first impressions. Fungus, are you there? Thank you, testicles. Testicles. Really? Huh. All right. Well, as you can see, the excitement is at a fever pitch as we're being told the parade is about to begin. Oh yes, and there's the first part of the parade coming into view now. What do you see? Well, there's a bunch of horsemen sounding trumpets, riding in formation. Very cool. Oh, and now a few chariots doing some trick riding. And now, oh my goodness! What? What is it? That gave me a start. A legion of archers looked like they were firing arrows into the crowd. But they were just streamers. Wow. Uh, Fungus, is there any way you could just turn the camera so we could actually see everything that's happening? No, sorry. Copyright infringement. Right, of course. All right, thank you, Fungus. We go now to senior correspondent Gaseous Odorous. Gaseous, are you there? Gaseous? Hmm? Uh, what is it? What do you see? Well, testicles. Testicles. Whatever. So right over there, I can see some exotic female dancers twirling pink banners. And one of them is wearing only pasties. Uh... You're sure there's no way we could turn the camera? And now we have some more dancers. These guys look like they may be with the touring company of the Lion King. And now some pole vaulters? Some gold confetti? Don't know where that came from. And now some women in gold wings are releasing doves from a pyramid. Wow, you don't see that every day. We're not even seeing it today. Okay, fine. You want to show footage and get demonetized? Be my guest. All right, I'll stop harping on it. No need to get testy. Hey, testy. That's a great nickname for you. No, it's not. Okay, testy. Let me get back to the parade. Oh, wow. What? What is it? I see her. I see Cleopatra. She's riding on an enormous black sphinx. Although I don't think they call it the sphinx at this point, but whatever. It's being pulled forward by thousands of... Thousands of... Uh, volunteers? Yes, let's go with that. Indentured volunteers. Oh boy. Oh boy what? Well, they're pulling the Sphinx under an archway, kind of like that one in Paris thousands of years from now. And I hope someone measured because this looks like it's going to be a tight fit. Oh, it just makes it through. Wow, that was stressful. Testy. Well, that caught on quick. Yes, fungus. The Sphinx carrying Cleopatra is approaching the end of the route. I can see the guy from Hamlet uh, and the guy from My Fair Lady awaiting Cleopatra's arrival. Oh, wow. Another group of volunteers has hoisted Cleopatra up on a platform and are carrying her down to ground level. Careful, fellas. Precious cargo. And... Touchdown. A fungus, how is Cleopatra dressed for such a momentous occasion? Um, it's hard to describe. Kinda like that golden eagle outfit in Wonder Woman 1984, I guess is the closest thing I can think of. Ugh, that's one story we'll never be featuring on PNN. Thank the gods. 
Okay. Cleopatra is on the red carpet now, approaching Caesar and Mark Antony. She's got a mini me with her, don't quite know who that is. Doesn't matter, I suppose. And now, Cleopatra is at her destination. And? She's bowed to Caesar. The crowd is going wild. That sounds like a tremendous finale. Uh, what happens now? Well, I don't know about you, but I could use a stiff glass of pasta after all that excitement. Whew. Join me down at the brothel when you're done here. Will do. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for joining us for coverage of today's parade. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You've been watching PNN, the Parody News Network.